Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. According to historian John Geis, no one personified the economic, intellectual, and social life of the Natchez district more than Benjamin Leonard Covington Wells. The eldest son of a land surveyor, Wells was born in Georgia, but his father moved the family to Washington, Mississippi in 1797. Wells attended Jefferson College and received a commission as a second lieutenant in the territorial militia and worked as a clerk in the land offices in Concordia Parish and with the Choctaw Indian Agency. There he became acquainted with such important chiefs as Push Mahata and Mushla Tubi. After his marriage to a distant cousin, Rebecca Covington, the couple lived for a few years with her mother's family at Propinquity near Washington. Wells was an intellectual, and he became trustee of the Jefferson College and president of the Adams Athenaeum, a literary society, and a promoter of the Mississippi State Agricultural Society. In 1838, Wells undertook the field work for the first geological survey of Mississippi, traveling the length and breadth of the state, collecting species and taking notes. His report on agricultural and geology of Mississippi is considered to be a monumental accomplishment. Wells was also instrumental in founding the Mississippi State Historical Society and devoted considerable time to acquiring invaluable historical documents. Unfortunately, the Mississippi Historical Society was short-lived, folding on November the 12th, 1859. Opposed to secession, Wells was distressed by the increasing national discord and in 1861 made the following observation. In the present state of our country, I've already lived too long. Well, Wells died on this day, November the 16th, in 1862, almost exactly three years since the demise of his beloved Mississippi Historical Society. I'm Charlie Vess, and I'm president of the Natchez Historical Society, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.